Caution, but it wasn't enough to fight COVID-19. Tonight, a warning from a St. Francis County woman who died of the virus. I wanted to say this COVID is serious. While in the hospital, she shared video messages detailing exactly what she was going through. Tonight, Only News 4's Emma Hogue brings us the message that woman's sister now wants you to hear. Beverly Hobal was just 59 years old and died Sunday here at Bard's Jewish Hospital. For months, her family tells me she wore a mask everywhere she went and avoided large crowds at all costs. But throughout her nearly month long battle with COVID-19, she documented her journey, highlighting just how serious this virus can be. Hi, everybody. I've kind of taken a different turn. So I'm asking prayers. This is Beverly Hoba in the hospital on day 16 of her battle with coronavirus. She first developed mild symptoms in late August, but when her breathing worsened, she was admitted to Parkland Health Center in Farmington. We've always been close. We shared the womb, you know. From the start, her twin sister, Sheila West, says Hoba, who had diabetes and asthma, took the virus seriously, wearing a mask everywhere and avoiding large crowds. West, on the other hand, took a more casual approach. I didn't wear it unless it was required. I had to wear it at work, and I would wear it when I went in the stores that it was required, but if it wasn't, I didn't wear one. West got the virus too, but recovered quickly. Meantime, her sister had her ups and downs in the hospital. At one point, she thought she was going home. Doing better. I'm all nice and comfy right now. But when Hoba's symptoms worsened, she was airlifted to Barnes Jewish Hospital in the city. I've got pneumonia pretty bad. She died on Sunday, September 20th. She was always there. And, you know, you take those things for granted till you don't have them. And then it hits you. As West mourns, she can hear her sister's final plea to others. Wear a mask and take it seriously. Tonight, a new perspective after losing her other half. You should do everything in your power to protect yourself from this. It's deadly serious. It's not just the flu. West says her sister will not have a traditional funeral, only a small ceremony at her grave site with just close family and friends. Everything kept socially distant the way she says Bev would want it to be. Reporting in the Central West End, Emma Hogue, News 4.